In this Express.js tutorial, we are going to learn how to send emails using NodeMailer. So let me go ahead and initialize a new project. Say npm init-y. Then I will install Express. npm install Express. Because I want to keep the credentials for, for the email in a .env file. Let me also install .env that will help us to manage that. Then I'll hit enter. I will also add nodemon as a dev dependency. This is for auto restarting the server when we make changes in the code. So I'm going to say npm install as dev dependency nodemon. All right, so let me open the project in VS Code. And I'll go ahead to add two files one called server.js and the other one called app.js in app.js first i'm going to require express require to bring in express express and we have an instance of the app so const app equals express and finally i will just module dot export i will export app then in server.js i'm going to uh, say app dot listing app imported from the from the other file dot listing we provide a port const or to be equal to 3000 so listing on port 3000 let me just put a console.log console.log listening on port and then the port then for Starting the server, we go to package.json and add a command. Let's call this start. Uh, let me call it dev. And here I'm going to say node mon and just point to the file server.js. Okay, I'll go back to the terminal now and say npm run dev, which dev is the, is the command we just added. And we get listing on port 3000. I'll stop the server now and go back to app.js. Here I want to add one route so we can send a request and the email is sent out. So I'm going to say app.post. This is going to be a post request to endpoint. Let's call that send email. Oh my. And as usual, we have request response so i'm going to keep this very simple no uh validations and all those things so we can focus on just learning how to send email i'm going to add, expect that the request body we have uh let's say name name and email these are going to be the this is going to be the recipient of this email that we are going to send and let me put the code for sending email in a different file let me call this mail.js so here we make use of um, node mailer which is something we have not installed so let me go ahead and install node mailer npm install node mailer npm install node mailer with node mailer installed i'll go back to this uh, mail.js file and bring in node mailer node mailer equals require node mailer then we create what is called transport so let me call this transport to be equal to node mailer dot create transport this we have host 
process.env. Let's call this mail host. I will copy and paste and change the keys. And then port, we are going to put these values in the environment variable. So mail port. And whether this is secure, should be secure, but because we are, let me just turn it off because I'm in the local environment. So this will be false. That is whether to use SSL for the email. And then we have auth. So this is going to take two fields, the user, the username and password. So let's call this one main user and then we have password. The next thing I want to do is to have these environment variables in a .env file. So I will create a file called .env and copy over those values. The host, the port, the user, and password. But to read the values we are going to have here in the application, we need to make use of uh, the .m that we installed earlier. So I'll go to this server.js file. I'm going to say require .env and .config. Config. So this we expect that we have a file named .env at the root of the project with this import like this, this configuration like this. Now how do we get the values we are going to put here? These are going to be your own specific values depending on the email service you are using. So whether you are using Google service, Zoho, AWS, whatever, you just get the SMTP credentials and put over here. For this demonstration, I'm going to make use of mail trap, which will give me a free testing credentials. So over to mail trap, this is my mail trap. I will copy the, the username and the password, the host, and finally the port so i don't know let me try 465 then i will go back to app.js here i'm going to okay before this let me go to mail.js and have a function for sending the email const send yeah send email to be equal to this is going to take the recipient that is the email address to receive the email recipient and subject of the email and then the main message then inside here I want to have make use of the main transport above so I wait transport dot send email and we pass from this is going to be the sender you can configure this in your dot env let me actually have it in my dot env or it can be dynamic you can pass it as parameter so let's say no reply at example dot com and then two this is going to be the recipient then we have the subject we already have that guy there and the text the message in plain text also we are going to have the message in html format but i'm going to use this guy for both of them so 
in your own application you want to supply html here and just a plain text version of it to text so i'll leave everything like this i'm getting this error because to use await this function has to be async um let me also go ahead and return here the result finally i want to module dot export let me export the function send mail so i call this recipients because you can send to more than one emails at the same time now i can go back to app.js and make use of that function send email make sure to import that so this is expecting the recipient the subject and message for the subject i mean you can can be whatever you want it to be subject to be equal to welcome to a website whatever then for message uh, to be equal to that and finally the recipient const recipient i'm going to send to just one recipient let me format that a bit so i will have the name of the recipient and then the email address you can just pass the email address if you want to and inside here email now we can give this a try by sending email to localhost 3000 slash send email so if i am postman as my client i will call that endpoint it is a post request in the request body we are going to have the name uh, let's say john doe and the email so let me have john dot doe at example dot com and send the request oh this error is because express is having issue um, dealing with the json data in the request so let's go ahead and tell express to handle the json data we say app.use express.json back to postman i will send the request again so we are stuck but if i go to the browser you will notice that i got an email a few seconds ago and this is the recipient the sender the recipient that is john doe and this is the email body we are stuck because something that is well known about express we did not send any response in this route handler so the solution is simple i'm going to say or maybe before sending this email uh let me actually do some error handling as well dot then result i don't know what to do with the result dot cache error i will leave that as well i'll say raise dot send or raise dot json come on message sending email in a moment okay so i will give this another try i will send the let me send to someone else uh lucy i'll send to lucy this time and i get the response sending email in a moment then when i check the inbox you can see that we got the email this time it is for lucy although the email address was not changed so guys this is how you can this is a basic example of how you can send emails in your express.js application using node mailer smtp until next time enjoy coding